we have a fucking dilemma Breaking right now. News. This is this is this is bad. This is heart crunching, crunching, whatever, however you say that. I went to the bathroom for five minutes. Oh my god! It's day one. Let's see. Are we the luckiest people on earth? Oh, it's filled up. It filled up pretty quick, guys. <laughs> all right. So with all that said, it looks like we have 48 applications today. We have 100 and I want to say 18 people. Bianca, 18. <laughs> all right. The first number is number six. Four down, we have six spots remaining. Yes, yes. <laughs> number one. Yeah. Oh. We have two spots remaining. If you are a group larger than two, you will have to either pass or select two people to go. You know this is our chance. It's a group of four. Yeah. Number four. All right, yeah, we'll take it. One, one. Not you. Yeah. Hey, you yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought we had it there. Day two, we're on the way to the wave. It's been raining all night. Even had a little bit of hail about 30 minutes ago. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but we are here, so we have to try. All right, first number is number 41. 14, 12. Number 27. Well, we didn't get it, but it's okay. It's been raining all day, you know. It's good. We didn't get it today. So what we're going to do is get... Coffee! See you tomorrow. I come back and Jason tells me I'm gonna tell you something I need you not to freak out. It's a great sign, right? This dude just told me what I would never expect to hear. So I was laying on the bed just on my phone and I hear something below me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I opened our secret compartment. There's a roll of toilet paper in there. It was all chewed up. I was wondering what the hell's messing with this. This wasn't like this three days ago. And then I saw a little mouse. I will not sleep. I'm like, oh my God. So you ready? No, I'm kind of really nervous, to be honest. Who knows where he is? He's, he got in there somehow, so he could be out already. That's the other thing. Like, the spot where he is is, like, enclosed, it's, it's, so I don't even understand how he got in there. The van is sealed. We don't leave the doors open. How could he have gotten in there? Because we... We definitely have to figure that out. Because now is the time for deodorant. The mouse might smell you. Oh my god, I'm freaking the fuck out. And we're not like those people that will just, like, go to sleep fine if they can't get it out right away. I will not fucking go on that bed if we can. We will take everything out of the van. Like, out completely. I will not sleep if that fucking thing is in here. I'm like trembling right now. I do not fucking like mice. You ready? Wait, I think we need to clean all this off first. So that way we have, we have, like, like, like <laughs> the problem is I don't want to lose him. Because if we lose him, then we're really You have to take everything out. Wait, 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 wait. Let me move. Oh, my God. Ah! Hold on. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I don't, I don't. So you have to get him through there. How there? We would have to, he would have to have crawled through here and up the thing. Through the back, maybe. We've been in the van 24-7. I don't understand. All right, let's do it. I'm stressing out right now. <laughs> I will jump on this fucking counter so fast. Get that away from me. What if he's in there? Where, where was he last time you saw him? Like, All the way far at the back? Yeah. He was on top of my water bag. Oh, fuck. You can't slam it on me. You have to keep it open. All right, well then, wait and make sure we see him back there, because if he's right here, I'm closing that fucking door. Okay, go. Oh my god, he's right there. He's in your fucking shirt. He's back behind that thing. Alright. Are we out of here today? So this is what I saw. Look, he had to have come from below. That's the only way he could have gotten in there. Yeah. He came from below and then came up. So that means our entire garage is fucking under attack. We need to... Evaluate. Ugh. All this stuff has to come out. There isn't any uh, any turds or anything, so we're thinking he just got in there. My only concern is that he wasn't a lone traveler, and although there may not be more in here, there may be more down there. So everything has been taken out. No more mice in this drawer. We gotta just clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna check the rest of them, just to be sure. 
We still cannot figure out how they got in. There's no tears in our weather stripping. Like I said, we don't leave our doors open. We just did an entire, entire clean out. Nothing else. We just need to figure out how it got in. Hood compartment is clean. This is a post mouth disaster. Our van looks like it just got like robbed or something. <laughs> you thought we were kidding when we said we don't like mice. I think that might be a hole that they got through. So we picked up some fabric softener, we're sticking that shit in there. That would have been real obvious. They would have had to crawl through your, by your head. When I'm sleeping, they can do whatever they want. Oh God, I don't even want to think about that. We put a little piece of tape over it too. So if anything's looking weird, then we know that somehow they're getting in through the thing. Another sheet goes down there, even though we sealed it. Let's just be safe. We, we tore this van apart. I mean. We're using the light again? We tore this van apart. I mean, like all of these drawers on the top or whatever cabinets. We looked places that a mice yeah. most likely likely would not be, but we just checked it anyway. The fridge, under the cabinet, my two drawers, under all of our cabinet beds where the mice, the mouse, the mouse, one mouse was. Took out everything in the, the, the back, opened up all the comforters, nothing. Finally got Jason to clean out his little area behind here because we had to clean out the front seat. I'm telling you, we clean this place from head to toe and not one other mouse, not any droplings or anything, so. No signs of long-term living. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing chewed up. Yeah, nothing chewed, nothing. So he must have just gotten in there or. Came in last night. Or relatively soon. He didn't lay any eggs, hopefully, because we didn't see. Didn't lay eggs. <laughs> I think there's live breeders. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> most likely, since it was like cold and raining last night, all night, he came in looking for shelter. I don't know. All I know is we definitely cleaned out this whole spot and there isn't another one in here. And then we're most likely headed out of here tomorrow because I'm going to be sleeping with one eye open if I even sleep. That was an adventure. Hopefully it never happens again. Guys, live update. We're petrified. <laughs> Any, first of all, we have the comforters wrapped around us so that nothing can get in. <laughs> and any noise we hear, we... And we look at each other like, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my God, the van's going for sale. Just kidding. Unless there's more mice in here, then <laughs> the, for <sale. laughs> the for sale sign is going on it for sure. For real, for real though, we're kind of like traumatized. So I'm gonna sleep. When I open? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, we will keep you posted in the morning. Day three, that was the worst night of sleep ever. Kept waking up. Any little movement Jason would make or something, I would like freak out and jump. You zone out, make sure you read the directions. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guessing you are. That will be the lottery. Remember your number from today for tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for coming. If you won, please stick around. All right, guys, I guess third time's not the charm. <sighs> Oh well, it's fine, it's good. Now we can leave and get out of this desert area. We are headed west. That's the vlog, thanks for tuning in. We will see you in the next one, later.